Greetings and welcome back to Are You Totally Clueless About Algebra? So here I have set up a little algebra problem. Just says solve for x. 2x plus 3 equals 11. The solve for x means uh, find the value of x. Is x going to be some number? And or the solve for x, you need to get x all by itself so that there are no numbers or other expressions uh, in effect contaminating it. But it's a nice, clean, solitary x. So in words, this equation is saying, what number, when multiplied by 2, and then you add 3 to it, gives 11? And if you go back to your earlier days of arithmetic and the simple addition tables, one technique is to pretend the 2x is not there for the moment. You probably had a worksheet in the past that looks something like a blank plus 3 equals 11. So what number, when you add 3 to it, equals 11? And if I quickly figured out, that's 8. So I'm going to put the 8 down here. Oh, 8 is really that 2x that we had earlier. Our original equation, 2x plus 3 equals 11. So we already know that 8 is in place of 2x, and that's called substitution. And for your football fans out there, it's as though the 2x ran off the field and the 8 ran on onto its place. Or you can also substitute in reverse. You can take the 8 out and put the 2x in its place. So now, just a matter of what number, when you multiply it by 2, gives 8? Or 2 times what number equals 8? And from your times tables, you realize that's 4. 2 times 4 equals 8. Yeah, that's a times a sign, not an x. In the algebra, you won't see the x as a time symbol much, so that's just multiplying. Therefore, x equals what? x is going to equal 4. 2 times a 4 is 8. 8 plus the 3 then leads to our 11 in our original equation. So x equals 4. And another uh, a technique you find in mathematics is being able to check, verify the solution, see if 4 really is correct, see if any calculation or arithmetic errors were possibly made. Well, on the original equation, 2x plus 3 equals 11, and substitute wherever you see the x, I'm going to put in the 4 because we had solved for it. I'm using a dot between a number that's not a decimal point, that is a multiplication symbol that you will find in algebra. And I'm putting a little question marks. That means I'm in the process of checking and when I look at papers I see question marks and I think, oh, the student is checking a result. See if it's true. Sure enough, 2 times 4 is 8. And 8 plus 3 is 11, so that checks out. I put a check mark, and we're done solving for x. So, a little more algebra, so I have a little more confidence. If you've never done this before, you can tell others, I solve for x. 2x plus 3 equals 11, therefore x equals 4. And thanks for watching.